Hi, everybody. Well, there's some really disturbing news out of a city called Sunland, California. It is near LA, about 20 minutes outside of LA. Um, I'm going to play these couple of news clips about it and then show you another thing. Here we go. Stuffed in a bag, dumped like trash, a woman's decomposing body is found inside a garbage can on a residential street in Sunland. Tonight, homicide investigators are trying to determine the woman's identity, how she died, and who put her in the trash bin. Carlos Saucedo is live in Sunland with the latest on the investigation and how neighbors are reacting to the disturbing discovery. Carlos? Ladies, I'm standing on the spot that was once a crime scene. The trash bin has since been removed. Inside of it, the body of a woman, a woman in her 30s. Tonight, detectives are trying to figure out the identity of that woman, a motive, and they're also looking for the suspect. As I zoom in here, you see a pop-up tent there on the north side of the street and the trash can that's underneath it. It's a medium-sized trash can, and it does look like it's possibly sealed. Sky 5 was above the neighborhood in Sunland. A decomposing body found in a bag stuffed inside a trash bin. The bin left on a curb in the 8500 block of Wentworth Street near Westcott Avenue. LAPD got a call around 10 a.m. Tuesday when nearby residents reported smelling an odd odor. The initial reports were saying that there was a foul smell coming uh, from, the, uh, from the trash bin as well as flies. Detectives say the trash bin was sealed shut. Once open, that's when officers found the body of a woman in her 30s. Neighbors saddened to hear of the gruesome discovery. I live here for 30 years and I walk all around here and I never imagined that <laughs> to see this. It's pretty disturbing that. Very much, very much. You don't know what happened before or you know what the whole reason why they did that to a woman. It's unclear how long the woman's body was inside. It was trash day yesterday, but the trash bin does not belong to the neighborhood. Detectives say there is some decomposition involved. The coroner was on site working to determine a cause of death. I mean, we don't understand what exactly happened yet, but just the fact that a body was discarded in the, you know, in the street in the trash bin, it's very saddening, you know, so there's no way for a person to, uh, to discover that their loved one was left in that manner. Again, detectives are trying to figure out the identity of the woman, the victim, and trying to track down the murder suspect. Anyone with any information is encouraged to contact the LAPD. We're live tonight in Sunland. Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News. Carlos, thank you. Now at 11, a gruesome discovery in Sunland. A man finds the body of a woman stuffed inside a trash bin on his property. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colleen Williams. Tonight, we're hearing from him and police as they try to figure out the identity of that woman. NBC4's Darsha Phillips live in Sunland with more on the investigation. Darsha. Yeah, Colleen, that trash can with the body inside was found on the street behind me by detectives this morning. But before that, it was on the property of someone who lived on this street and it got to the street because he moved it. William Elliott says his DNA is all over the trash can that the body of a woman was found in. My fingerprints are all over the, the handlebars for it. That's because he moved it to the street last night. I found it uh, last night or last evening around 6.30 when I came home going down the driveway and I just looked over and saw it. William says someone had dumped the trash can on his property. Saw that it was a trash can tipped over on its face and I could smell something not right, uh, right, right away. He says he called police, the city, and sanitation and told them something just didn't seem right. How it smells bad, but then very suspicious that there was the zip ties and the serial number was scratched off of it. William says no one came by. Then early Tuesday morning, neighbors say gardeners urged them to call 911 after they noticed a foul stench coming from the trash can. Detectives arrived and made the grisly discovery. We can tell is uh, it is a female. Um, approximate age is about in her 30s, early 30s. Uh, we don't have much information um, you know, as, as far as cause of death or, you know, how the body got there. Detectives say the body was inside of a bag. They haven't identified the woman and can't tell when she died. 
This neighbor didn't want to go on camera, but described what she saw from her home across the street. This morning I saw the actual body being pulled out and it was it looked like it had been decomposing for a while. Um, I saw lots of tattoos. People in the neighborhood creeped out and worried. And William, well, he says he thought it was maybe an animal in the trash can. If he had known, he says he would have never touched it. I technically helped move a body mm -hmm. and didn't realize it. Now, William says he had no intention of inserting himself into the investigation like this, and he says he is fully cooperating with police. That's pretty, pretty horrifying, right? There's another, there's several, it's just like breaking news happening there. Um, there's several of these clips. This is an, another one here. Um, shows them reaching in there and, oh, it's just awful. Um, I'm going to just put this link in the description, with a couple others that I found. So when I was looking at the video, you can see right here, I had to take a screenshot and pull it up, but you can see here there's handles and I don't know what that is, um, but you see handles and you can read the word Burton. So I searched Burton bags and it's a snowboarding bag, which I'm sure will be a huge clue to law enforcement finding out who owns it because these things are not cheap. Um, here's one. You can see that they are pretty big. And then this looks to be almost identical to that one. That's just awful. Just awful. So they didn't say the race of the lady. And somebody's missing their family member, you know, somewhere. So I hope they find out who she is and what happened to her and who did this. This is awful. I'll keep an eye on this um, situation and I'm going to take it off of this screen here. I'll keep an eye on this and see if I can get any new updates or something. But um, if anybody knows anything else, please um, leave a message in comments but my heart goes out to this poor victim and her family they're going to get some devastated news that's for sure all right guys i will see you guys later